This is an HBCU that you've probably never heard of, but without it, we may not have some of the HBCUs we have today. Here you go, man. It's time for some OG HBCU news. I'm talking about Robert Williams University, the HBCU. We see you. What up, y'all? It's time for another 100 HBCUs in 100 days. Seven more days to go, to be exact. And this is powered by the number one mobile reader for the culture, the underrated report. Brand new issue coming soon. The link is in the bio. But today is all about Robert Williams University. Yo, oh, we're still doing the giveaway right now. If you want one of these pink I Am Black History hoodies, all you got to do is put I want it in the comments. At the end of the week, we'll do a drawing. And if you win, you get it free. Just got to pay for shipping. If you don't want to wait or you might want a different color, Chop into the website. We got different colors and different things. Everything's 25% off to the end of March. So 1864, right? Daniel W. Phillips, a white minister and freed man's missionary, taught elementary classes for African Americans in his home. The following year, those same classes moved over to Nashville in the church basement. Then 1866, Phillips and his supporters founded the Nashville Normal and Theological Institute in North Nashville. Then they attempted to purchase Fort Gilliam in 1870, but Fisk University had already bought it so they could build their space called Jubilee Hall. So the Institute would go on to buy 30 acres of land in West Nashville in 1874 and build a new campus right next to Vanderbilt University. February 13th, 1883, the Nashville Normal and Theological Institute was incorporated as Roger Williams University. Blacks actually held 